Well, it is 27 year old left hander Sean Manaya on the mound for the Oakland A's in this one. And as Buster only reported earlier, six, seven weeks ago, didn't look like that was going to be the case. Coming off a of shoulder surgery, made a terrific comeback, and was brilliant in September. He was, Matty. He had five starts. Went 4 0, 1.21 ERA, and he is electric from the left side. You'll see that crossfire delivery, a fastball, slider, and a. Command early will be key. Diaz with the ball well hit to right field. Loriano back. He looks up, and that one is gone. Yandi Diaz opens the top of the first with a solo home. Once it gets dark, it becomes a pitcher's part. And Pham is rung a up. A little bit more than that to get this crowd out of it, though. They're here to party. <laughs> they're, here, they're here to stay. And Meadows waves and misses. Ahead and strikes him out again. Ahead to Durno here. And he went around. Three strikeouts for Sean Manaya in the first, but the Rays field. The switch hitting veteran Robbie Grossman gets the call there, and it's a rookie catcher batting number nine. Young Sean Murphy rounding out the lineup against the 35 year old two time All Star Charlie Morton on the mound for the Tampa Bay Rays. Kind of a no brainer in this winner go home game. He is the only Rays pitcher to ever appear in the postseason. In fact, two of his seven career postseason appearances have been in elimination games. And both times in 2017, Morton was brilliant. That's right, and he's six foot five, and he's a horse, and that's exactly what he was brought here to Tampa to do in a two-year contract, $30 million. He's got four pitches. He's got the fastball. He cuts it. And a called strike three taken by Loriano. With one away, he's down a run in the first. And Olsen swings and misses at 98 miles. Profar swings and sends it fly ball out to right. Garcia in the sun. Start field. the inning. And Garcia hits a rocket out to center field. That ball is smoked. Canna looks up. And that one is gone. The second homer of the game by the Tampa Bay Rays, and it's 3-0 for the visitors. Left side of the diamond. And a swing and a miss by Kiermaier. The one-two to Brasso. And he rings him up. Five strikeouts from a nine. And he couldn't hold on there. Three from it is the 34 year old veteran Yasmero Petit in his 12th season in the big leagues his second season here in Oakland and his number was called often this year in American League high 80 times and that's American League high third highest in franchise history for Oakland first since the 60s just to give you an idea how often he was used why he's a strike thrower Bob Melvin loves him only 10. Tommy Pham likes to run an American League leading 25 stolen bases but a swing and a miss on a good change here and that's the first out of the inning. If you don't start at third base you're starting from a different angle. It is very difficult in game to make that adjustment. Ramon Laureano with a little fly ball. Garcia makes the catch. Simeon's going to score and the A's are on the board. Ball and two strikes. It remains on Mark Canna. And the fastball strikes him out. In game two against the Nationals in what was at the time the longest postseason game in Major League history. Garcia with the swing and the miss. Hangs it, and you can do some damage. Slowly hit out to second for Lau. And again, Morton gets out of a tight spot. Two left stranded in the last of the fourth. Pham with the drive out to center field. Ken on the move at the track, looking up, and that one is gone. The fourth of the night by the Rays, and it's 5-1 Tampa. And you have a little cutter here. Tommy. 
Well, after the Tommy Pham homer chases Yasmero Petit, it'll be the left hander Jake Diekman who will try to get Austin Meadows and end the fifth inning here. Well, even Diekman came to Oakland and pitching change for Oakland. They're on their fourth of the ball game. And the electrifying rookie Jesus Lazardo makes his postseason debut. You're going to see it right here. Wow. Or just paint 99 at the knees. <laughs> two balls and two strikes to Garcia. Oh, Jesus Lazardo dominant in a one. He yields to the right hander Diego Castillo here in the sixth inning. Sinker, slider. A four seamer that he'll go to. He's in there to get ground balls. Can't approach. Got him on a breaking See ball. Him. Solo homer for Tommy Pham. And a swing and a miss by Adamas. Swing and a miss on a hundred miles an hour from Diego Castillo. In his way through. To be able to get to the final out, his psyche and getting him to where he needed to be. Last strikes out. Two guns. They're down four. They need to flip the script. Pitching change for the Rays as Nick Anderson, who was up and down four times in the bullpen tonight, is finally getting into the game. Breaking ball got him looking. That is Nelson at first with one away. Anderson set the 3 2. Got him swinging. Ball for Watching on your mobile device. It is Liam Hendricks on in the ninth. Far from a save situation. Oakland trailing by. Was Diego Castillo two scoreless innings? And he was filthy. And there's one gone here in the ninth. Do not celebrate before the game is over. A swing and a miss by Grossman. And how about this for irony? Last year, Emilio Pagan was on the A's roster for the wild card game, never got into the game at New York. He was acquired from the A's in a three team deal with the Rangers last December. Soft bouncer to short for Willie Adamas. And Tampa Bay is one out away from throughout his five innings tonight. And that'll do it. The Tampa Bay Rays are moving on to a date with the Houston Astros.